The plan originally was to come up at bedtime with the hot chocolate, which is really nice. It's not as artificially sweet as the other ones. And open my festive blind date with a book and just do that before going to sleep. But I finished Silk Swords and Surrender. The last one was really sweet and lovely and I loved it. Um, and also American Hippo, which I started in January. So I'm going to treat myself now. I'm so excited. I've had this author on my uh, to read list for years and I've just never gotten around to her. And this looks so cute. I'm not going to read the blurb, I'm just going to read the book. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. It opens in Scotland. Damn! <laughs> this book knows exactly what I like. I'm not going to like dislike this character because of it. And it is cute how kind of nerdy she is about it, but like, please never compare Scotland to like, Scottish romances. <laughs> I was a little bit concerned the way that their dynamic would play out, but you know what? Like, they are absolutely as adorable as this cover. You know, I'm really happy that I started this. Uh, it's so kind of happy for me, like, it's making me so happy. Um, we kind of edged up to cringe when they were going to Edinburgh Castle. I cannot, I cannot with the touristy stuff, but I love them. <laughs> I love them so much. Um, I do kind of feel like my brain is going to explode, however. So I think that's time <laughs> to call time for the moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Rudolph, are you watching the Daisy? <laughs> and leash. What does maybe come? <laughs> Mum, it's blowing in me. <laughs> God looks nice on you. <laughs> That's a date. Wait, if we can. <laughs> It's on the floor. Like, they'll find you. They'll find you. <laughs> it's still blowing about. Merry Christmas from me and Ernest. <laughs> I didn't get much reading done last night. I did, however, finish chapter six. So I'm about like 53 pages in uh, out of 125. I really like it. I've kind of got to rapport between them and I'm so glad they're so cute. They're so cute. I'm so mad. I'm too tired to go downstairs but this is making me so hungry. Damn, it's good. I don't know if I'll get back to it today but we're on page 78 and I'm, it's amazing. I'm so in love. You can tell that there's some of that Scottish romance novel stuff coming through because like the whole, all the stars are out. You in Edinburgh, right? <laughs> like it's a capital city, you're no one to have you more. Um, and also just the staff um, working here, like Ayla and Lise, like those are names, yeah, but also like, no. <laughs> Good almost one in the morning. I, of course, did not get far yesterday, but I did get to chapter 12. <sighs> like, it's good because, you know, all the food on Christmas, but also, like, it's still making me really hungry. <laughs> Damn you, book. Also, don't want to go into spoilers, but we had our first sex scene. And that was really awkward. 
for me to read with the family in the same room. So I finally finished Mangoes and Mistletoe and I am bereft at having finished it. <laughs> I gave it 5 stars, it is a delight, it is utterly joyous. I am still hungry with all the baking um, and I'm so excited at the prospect of reading more from this author. So yeah. It, it was wonderful and I'm really glad that Words and Kisses had this as their, as one of their um, festive blind dates with a book <laughs> selections because it was just wonderful.